Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mo. I am making a video here to give you a walkthrough of my Indash tablet setup in my Evo 10. What you see here is the uh, Nexus 7 second gen tablet, and it is attached to a JDM double den kit. Um, it's all magnetic, so if you grab and pull the tablet, it comes right off and you're left with pretty much nothing. What I've done was I filled this space in with ABS plastic. It's epoxied from behind. Also back there is a Nokia DT900 uh, induction charger and two bar magnets along the side, which match up to the tablet. To put the tablet back in place, just uh, put the tablet on the bottom lip here and just kind of let it go slowly. Uh, the magnets will do the work for you and it's, it's, it's on there pretty firm so you would actually have to grab and pull decently to be able to remove the tablet like I did the first time. Now as far as the tablet's integration to the car and audio it's actually pretty simple. Um, it's a tablet it's got Bluetooth built in you can easily connect uh, Bluetooth audio to your uh, factory radio which I do still have the factory radio it's just in there it just it doesn't have any of the buttons or anything. So you have to control everything using the steering wheel controls. Um, if I turn the volume up, you should be able to hear that hopefully. But uh, this is on USB right now. So if I click mode, it will cycle through all the inputs. So this is Bluetooth, which I don't, it's normally my phone and I'm videoing with it right now. Uh, this will be AM, FM1, FM2, CD, and back to USB. Beyond that, I mean, it's just a tablet. Uh, I use it for navigation, and I primarily use the thing for my race capture uh, system from Autosport Labs.